Yes, this is what I seek, this is what I ask To dwell in the house of the Lord This is what I seek, this is what I ask To dwell in your presence This is where I belong This is where I find myself To come in touch with the heart of my Creator Oh, He tells me who I am So I'm gonna stop asking But I will seek you, Lord, I will seek you first And listen to what you have to say about me Oh, I long to dwell in the presence of the Lord All the days of my life Cause that's where I that's where I belong Standing, sending you in your presence In the purpose or in this I am known By perfect love Sinking deep 
that you love me I know that I love you Therefore everything is okay you love me i know that i love you therefore everything is okay i'll open my heart i know that you love me i know that i love you therefore everything is okay i'll open my heart i know that you love me
know that I love you, therefore everything is okay. Psalm 66, verse 8. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. We bless your name, God. We praise you today. May the praises be lifted up today louder than ever before. May the sounds of praise resound today with greater zeal than ever before because you deserve it. We praise you. We bless your name. Bless your name, bless your name, 
Let the sound of his praise be heard. Bless our God. Bless our God, O oh peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. Jesus. Let us boldly praise him. Praise him. Psalm 66, verse 9. Who has kept our soul among the living and has not let our feet slip? You're amazing, God, because you guard our souls, you guard our steps. We can't ever fall too hard or too far away from you. We thank you for keeping watch over our souls, and we thank you for keeping our feet on solid ground. Step in. 
For you, O oh God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. Thank you, Father, for testing us, giving us tests we can pass, testing us on things we've already learned because you're for us. Every test is to assure us that we can do it. Every test is for our good. So we thank you, God, for testing us. Isn't it true we don't like being tested? Oh, in every test we are tempted to just run away. Oh God, but you are calling us to respond in faith and hope. You are calling us to respond in confidence in you. You say, I've already given you everything you need to pass this one. I've given you everything that you need to pass this one test So don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't you give up For I have given my spirit, given my spirit For I've given you the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead Oh, you know you're stronger than you think Oh God, so may we respond to your test in hope and faith. Oh, may we not be dismayed. May we know that you are a good teacher. You're not an unjust teacher. You are a good teacher to us. We come out the other side of this test stronger than we went in. Stronger than we went in So help us to move into this test Knowing that we only have victory We only have victory Let us know that every time we answer Every step we make pleases you Pleases you You are telling us the answers As we go to each new question Cause God, you are the bank of all solution. You have all the answers. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. Yes, Jesus is the answer. 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 Testing, would you pour out your 
joy in this testing God I don't want to run away anymore I don't want to run away anymore I don't want to run away anymore I don't want Your joy is here. 
joy is here. Your joy is here for us to receive that. Your joy is here. Your joy is here. Your joy is here for us to receive. Your joy is here. Your joy is here. Your joy is here for us to receive. Your joy is here. Your joy is here. Your joy. Yeah, Lord, we just thank you for the joy that you bring to us, God. We continue to open up our hearts to you in praise. In Jesus' name.
Lord, we thank you for the joy that you're burying into our souls, Lord, that is going to bubble forth, God. We thank you for that joy today. I invite you all to open up your Bibles once again to Psalm 66. starting in verse 11. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet, you have brought us out to a place of abundance. After every trial, God, you bring us out to a place of abundance. Because that's the kind of God you are. You desire the absolute best for us, where there is more than we could ask or imagine. So we thank you for the more. We thank you for the abundance. We praise you for the more. It's just pretty ironic that we just sing about joy. And then we just read about God putting this crushing burden on our backs. <laughs> um, but the irony is, though, that that His yoke is easy and His burden is light. Mm -hmm. And God really uh, gives us the joy to not only overcome these things, barely making it, but He actually calls us to overcome it victoriously. And there's such an abundance of joy that God has available for us to take in this place and I don't know about you but I don't want to hold anything back anymore because um, he's a fun God right he's funny because he knew that we we're gonna sing about joy and he knew that he was I mean we were gonna go into this verse um, I think that's pretty funny <laughs> uh, I don't know about you but I think God is just kind of pointing out this area of our lives. I know that some of us in this room have been going through a lot of testing and trials in this season. And um, I think God is saying, hey, like, I'm giving you a choice. I'm giving you an option. And it's obviously better, but sometimes we're just not able to choose it because we just want to be carrying that burden for some reason but I really believe that God wants to release breakthrough here in this room tonight for us to just step into that joy um, and for us to just be free in the joy that God gives us that it doesn't have to be all complicated it doesn't have to be all thought out and well received like the way that we think we should but he's just saying hey here's my joy take it take it um yeah and even if the burdens on our backs are actually crushing like heavy um god restores our backs i guess um i mean he does right um he gives us a strength and i believe that it's it's about seeing his provision not just his provision but really seeing his blessing you know? um, so yeah i thought that was really funny <laughs> So God, I just, um, we just thank you that you give us more than just the strength to barely make it through the day, uh, more than just barely making it through this testing and trial, so, uh, whatever that we go through daily, Father, or in different seasons, God, we thank you for the joy that you give to us. Truly, you make your joy abundant in our lives. Jesus, you are our joy. So we ask that with open hands, with open hands we ask, Lord, and we say receive the joy that you give to us, God, that we don't want to dwell in this place of wondering why we're in this, God, or why we have to carry this burden. But Jesus, you said, but my, my burden is easy, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. So we just come into agreement with that and we say, Jesus, you are our joy. You are the joy set before us. And we want you. We want you, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, surely at the end of this road.
us there, God. You will take us there, Jesus. You will loosen the nets. You are faithful to your promises, oh God. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. Take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. You will take us to the nations. You will take us to North Korea. It's in your goodness you brought us out Cause you have so much more for us Cause you have so much in store for us Oh, we are so quick to be comfortable So quick to be just content But you are calling us to greater things verse 13 I will come into your house with burnt offerings I will perform my vows to you Lord we choose to step into your house today 
we offer ourselves to you. We choose your house. We choose you. We enter in. Receive us now. Receive our offerings because we want nothing but you.
56, verse 14 and 15. That which my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble, I will offer to you burnt offerings of fattened animals with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Lord, we offer our very best to you. We don't offer scraps. We don't want to bring our complacent apathy. We don't want to bring our tired work. We want to bring our absolute best, the most excellent offerings we can bring. So we bring you our very best tonight, our greatest sacrifices, our greatest praise. I deserve my very best. God, you deserve my very best. So we give our all to you, Jesus. 
thank you that we get to respond to all that you are, all that you give to us, all that you love in us. So we thank you that we can give it all back to you, God. We love you.
praying for the marginalized in Korea. As I lead us in prayer, I ask that you come into agreement with me, and afterwards I invite you to invite your own intercession and prayers to the Lord. Lord, we pray for those without a home tonight, those who are sitting in the cold, lonely, and abandoned. We stand on Isaiah 58, 7, and declare that you're bringing the homeless poor into your house. We declare that every person in Korea will have a safe, warm, and permanent home, and that no pride or doubt will prevent anyone from giving or receiving a home tonight. Let's declare safe, permanent homes for everyone tonight in Korea. Let's pray. the orphan and the orphan spirit has too long been residing in Korea so we declare the orphan spirit to leave right now in Jesus name we come into agreement with the Holy Spirit that you're bringing love and comfort to every lonely heart you're bringing your kingdom workers in ministries like Oak Tree Project to powerfully encounter the orphan and to show the father's heart of love and favor for each child Let's declare a Holy Spirit encounter right now. Let's pray.
precious, precious in your eyes. They are precious, precious in your eyes. They are precious, precious in your eyes. They are precious, precious in your eyes. for the fatherless and the widow God and we believe it we pray for every widow in Korea that is feeling alone and in despair we declare spiritual encouragement and financial favor and for every woman to feel the way you see them as beautiful brides loved and cherished by you they are not alone you love them and you will bring them justice let's pray and replace it with true kingdom holy respect for the elderly we declare that Korea is a nation that sees the elderly as you see them God and that the elderly are seeing the younger generation as you see them it's been too long of missing out on the blessing of mutual edification between generations so let's declare a mutual edification rising up in Korea and a holy respect for elders to arise in the nation of Korea let's pray
remember our own grandmothers and grandfathers. I think it's kind of hard for us to imagine them just wandering around in the streets by themselves. Um, I don't know how you, your relationship with your grandparents are, is like, but there are so many elderly um, that just wander around in the streets of Seoul. Um, and a lot of them live alone, and a lot of them struggle with depression and suicidal thoughts. So I want to, instead of just praying from that place of, oh, pity them, but I want us to pray for them as if they are our own grandparents. Um, I believe that there is great breakthrough that God wants to release tonight over the elderly of this nation. They're not neglected, that God sees them, that God has great future in store for them, that their life is not in vain, but that God honors, honors the hard and well life that they had and that God wants to release fresh honor and just life. So let's just prophesy that over the elderly tonight.
God, we thank you for the privilege of getting to pray for those that are marginalized in Korea, for the homeless, for the orphan, for the widow. God, for the elderly, we know that these um, men and women, these young children are on your heart. And God, we're excited that, that something shifted today. That, Lord, that these are going to become powerful um, kingdom workers, evangelists, mass salvations, missionaries, even at 85 years old. God, we're excited for the work that you're doing and through the seemingly marginalized. And we thank you that we get to pray for them. And that, Lord, that you're going to continue to open our eyes and hearts as we intercede. And when we see them in Korea, God, we thank you that um, you're doing permanent shifts at this hour, God. So we bless your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome and power. Our God. Our God. Our God is great. Often see the circumstances bigger than what they actually are, and but we want to just continue to uh, press into this truth, or that you are greater, you are stronger, God, and you have the all the authority and power belongs to you, Jesus. So, Lord, as your as your beloved, as your children. Father, we come before you and we lift up this nation to you. We lift up all those that are just um, overlooked uh, and rejected. Father, we know that you have a special place for them. You have great blessings to release over them, God. So Lord, we see these people as you see them and we say that they are the apple of your eye. And Lord, that they are precious in your sight. Would you awaken our hearts to the things that you see, to the way that you see them. God, we want to have more of you. We want to know you more, God. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope that you were blessed. Um, continue to press in for deeper intimacy with the Lord because it is for you. It is for you. Uh, be blessed and good night.